At the Center Jersey Club, our mission is to promote and protect the interests of African American business and professional women, to serve as a bridge for young people seeking to enter business and the professions, to improve the quality of life in the local and global communities, and to foster good fellowship. Well, hello everyone. My name is Piola Smith Smith. I am the 20th National President of the National Association of Negro Business and Professional Women's Clubs Incorporated and the 20th President of the Central Jersey Club. It's indeed an honor for me to be with you today uh, because it is a celebration, a celebration of the many efforts and the good work this community organization does. I have been a member of this organization for the last 46 years and I have seen it grown, especially the Central Jersey Club. The Central Jersey Club is a premier club of this organization in that they truly reach out to the community and make a difference in the lives of young and old. This organization was first formed in 1935 and the Central Jersey Club was born in 1965. Those of you who are viewing this, I hope you will consider being a part of the good works of this wonderful organization, as I will always be a part. Thank you. My name is Denise Hawkins, and I am a member of the Central Jersey Club, and I've been in the Central Jersey Club for 15 years. I am currently um, serving as the National Life Members Chair for the association. Um, I'm also the Northeast District Life Member Chair for the district. I serve on various committees. I, I can't name them all. I'm also a past president of the Central Jersey Club. I am the second president in the club that served four years straight and two consecutive terms. Um, I love the organization. I first came in, I wasn't sure if I was qualified to be in this club. And uh, my sponsor, who's no longer with us, um, she said to me, she said, if you can run the Monmouth County Cotillion with debutantes with a $100,000 pot, you can definitely be a member of this club. So I came in and I tell you, it's the best thing that could ever happen to me. Uh, my two daughters uh, joined the club um, um, and they've also served as officers. But I'm really happy to be a part of this organization, district-wise and nationally, where um, I, I'm very happy and I'm very proud that they look to me for, for uh, information and to be a part of their committees. My name is Evelyn Streeter Frizzle. I'm a life member and I've been a part of this wonderful, awesome organization for over 30 years. I have been in several leadership positions within the organization. I've been president of my local clubs. I have been chairperson of the life membership, chairperson of the scholarship committee. And as I said previously, I am now the sitting governor, the 18th governor of the Northeast District. I think that this is a wonderful, wonderful association to be a part of. Our focus is on developing leaders for today and tomorrow. Our theme for the Northeast District is developing bold, dynamic, transitional leaders for the next 21st century, for this 21st century. Hi, my name is Angela Torres, and I was invited here today by my very best friend slash sister, uh, Elisa Dawn Armour. And I really was just really excited about coming out today because all of, the, all of these positive women, um, women who look like me, who talk like me, um, and have, uh, you know, goals, similar goals that just want to do more for our community and, um, you know, share their knowledge with all of us. So I felt really uh, honored to be able to be in this space and also have a seat at the table. 
Hi, I'm Elisa Dawn Armour, and I was very, very happy to be here simply because I felt accepted even though I cried. Everyone accepted me with my crying, which is a normal thing. But I say all that to say, being amongst women who have the same common core values, is it makes a big difference in how you can express yourself. And it also makes a big difference in making you more relatable. And I just appreciate being invited by Tasha Youngblood Brown, who will soon be Dr. Tasha Youngblood Brown. And, um, you know, just talking and sharing a meal with these women was a great experience. Hello, my name is Brittany Glass. I'm an interior designer, AKA the Space Activator, and I am so excited about this event and so blessed to be here. I've learned so much from the panelists, even listening to women who are leaders in corporate and the professional field has even given me some things to apply to myself as a business owner. One of those things is, of course, taking up all the space. Um, as a designer in a very um, popular industry that is dominated by, or should I say there's not enough people of color in the industry, um, I normally have insecurities around whether or not I belong at the table. And I think that that's something that we share as women of color, no matter what field you're in, and to see these women here talking about having the same experiences that I have, um, asking themselves those same questions and just sharing the experience, sharing how they've overcome that has been super powerful. Um, and there's just so many amazing women in the room. As I just walked around a network from the panel to even the other participants that have attended, it's amazing. There's so many beautiful women and opportunities here. So yes, love it. We'll definitely be back and can't wait for the next event.